escalating condo fees. Who likes them? Not the buyer, not the owner, not the investor. However, Frank asked us, what's the average condo fees? It seems like a simple question. There's not a simple answer. However, we've attached a very recent report that explains what condo fees, what goes into condo fees and why they're necessary. Now that being said, if you take a look at what's the average condo fee per square foot, it varies dramatically whether or not utilities are included. Now for Toronto, as of the end of 2017, the average condo fees were 65 cents a square foot. That did not include parking, that did not include lockers. And also the amenities vary as well. Once you include utilities, it goes up to 69 cents a square foot, which is actually still very reasonable. But if it's a, but if it's, um, uh, a brand new condo, then the condo fees will be less because they haven't established a, a reserve maintenance fund yet, or they don't have any deferred maintenance items to deal with. Ultimately, the building that you live in, those condo fees protect the future spiked value, and I do say spiked value, of your investment because those condominiums that are well maintained have a better reputation and those values increase dramatically more than those condominiums that just languish behind and deferred maintenance. I mean, who wants to live in a place where the underground parking lot is breaking down, the, the amenities aren't being serviced, the tennis court and the swimming pool are rarely open or broken down? I mean, you don't want to live in places like that. And, and it, it does affect the value of the property. So understand there's this great saying, good things no cheap, cheap things no good. I think it's a Chinese proverb of some sort. It works. It makes sense. So take a look at this study. It will really help. And uh, if you have any other questions, we're always here to help. Thank you.